You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright Hello, my darlings, how you all doing? Hope you're all okay Welcome back to another video and it's really nice to see you. It feels like it's been a bloody lifetime since I sat down in front of the camera and it's only been just over a week because the videos that you saw last week I'd pre-filmed to put up while I was away on holiday. So yeah, it's great to sit down and have a chat with you and just a little catch up and I've got something to show you. So I thought I'd just sit down and yeah, touch base with you and have a little catch up, see how you're all doing, hope you're all okay, um, I hope you've enjoyed the long weekend, the bank holiday um, and the coronation, did you all watch it? Uh, we watched it in Turkey because on the Saturday, that was the day before we were leaving, it, we had um, thunderstorm and it rained so it was an excuse to have a lazy day and yeah, just sit in the room and go out went out for food as normal you know for our lunch missed breakfast because i just didn't get up um went out for lunch and evening meal but in between you know we was in the room watching the coronation yeah it was a momentous occasion wasn't it historic um i don't remember the first one i, I was wasn't even thought of then <laughs> I wasn't even like a little seed. Um, but yeah, I love to watch all the pomp and ceremony of um, stuff like that. I mean, nobody does it like the Brits do. They, you know, the the way the soldiers march and everything's all done in formation and all the ancient rituals. And I just love watching stuff like that. So yeah, I did enjoy watching it. I uh, don't know how I feel about um, Camilla being crowned queen. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. So, I, I don't think she sh should have been queen. Uh, I mean, Prince Philip was never the king, was he? So I, I really don't think Camilla should be queen. But who am I? <laughs> I'm just a peasant. So, yeah, let me know whether you watched the coronation. And thank you for all your lovely comments on my holiday vlog. I'll tell you what, we had an amazing week. The weather was unbelievably hot all week, apart from on the Saturday. It was so hot, um, I couldn't sit in it all the time. Uh, I think we had about perhaps three or four days in the sun. We was like a day on, a day off, me and Les were, because I do suffer from prickly heat really bad. Um, that's why I started going on the sunbed before I went away to try and get a little bit of a base and it did help I still got prickly heat but not to the extent that I normally do I just got a little bit on my shoulders here and um, on the back of my legs where I had burnt a little bit so yeah the sunbed did really really help um, yeah, and we had a fantastic time. It was so beautiful. The hotel was incredible. It was, I can't, can't fault anything in the hotel. It was modern. It was spotlessly clean. The food was just out of this world, as you would have seen in the vlog. We were right by the beach. There was something to do all over the the um hotel complex there was something going on everywhere for the kids for the adults there was just so much to do and so much to see which was good really because where we were we was quite far away from an actual town i think we was about 30 to 40 minutes away from an actual like city of um alanya so that was quite far away and where we was it was just hotels all the way along and then there was like about five minutes up the road there was like um, a bazaar where you could go and do a little bit of shopping and yeah and I did pick up some bits <laughs> Um I will be doing that haul you'll see that um after this video so I've got a few bits to share with you that I bought out there 
So, yeah, again, thank you for all your lovely comments. So, let's get into today's video. Um, I was approached by the lovely Susie from a company called Minoy, and they are a bag company, leather bags, and they're relatively new. They were founded in 2020. Let me tell you about the company. I've got it here on my tablet. So, Minoy were established in 2020 and product positioning is leisure and comfort so that's what they go for in their style of bags and they are customer focused and dedicated to bringing consumer premium quality original designed bags to always ensure exceptional quality they hire a highly skilled and artistic team from every corner of the globe we pay special attention to the convenience and availability of the bags. Therefore, each of our designs focuses on a range of compartments, long-term quality, functionality, and of course, plenty of pocket space. And they are consistently working to extend their range of products to suit all needs and tastes. So I will leave the link to the website down below along with um, my discount code. Let me just tell you, the code uh, will give you between 15 and $20 off. So it depends what bag, um, you know, if you want, want to buy one. Obviously, no pressure, there never is. But if you fancy going and having a look and you're looking for a nice quality leather bag then yeah go and check them out and use my code which i will which i will also leave down below so the bag arrived and it arrived in this beautiful black box with the brand on the bottom there it says Minoy, and it says crafted in passion crafted with purpose along the box there and it's a magnetic box that opens up and inside there is a thank you card from them and again it says crafted in passion created with purpose and there's just a little thank you note on the back and it came in this gorgeous baby pink dust bag which is lovely and soft with the Minoy logo on the front. And the bag I chose was this one. And it is the Nemesis camera bag. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The leather is so, so soft. And when it came, obviously it was flat. And I've started putting stuff in it to see how much I can actually get into the bag. <laughs> and I am so shocked with how much I've actually fitted in this bag. So yeah, it's a camera bag. I think it is the Nemesis one. Let me just check. Yeah, it's the Nemesis camera handbag. And they also do it in this tan colour as well. Sorry about the, the ring light. In this gorgeous tan colour as well. And a lot of the bags they do in the black and the tan. But they also have some that have got different colours as well. Like um, green and like a burgundy colour. There's like a, an array of colours on some of the bags as well. So yeah, they do this in the brown. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a long, it's got this top handle on. It's so well made, it really, really is. And the leather is that soft and it's like a suede on the inside and it's just finished to perfection. It's got a zip on the back here. This handle actually clips off so you can have it just like that or you can have it across body as well. And then these just clip back on when I can get it my fingers around it there we go and it just clicks back on and then it's got this lovely little tag here as well that's got Minoy www.minoy.com it's got their their logo on the little tag as well so it is really really nice now it's got the zip on the back there and in that zip there as you can see can you see it 
opens out so it's not just like a flat zip it opens out so you can get stuff in there and in there I've got my house keys and I've also got my car keys and they fit perfectly in that little compartment there and it closes perfectly and goes back flat and then there's this flap on the back I haven't got anything in that flap on the back but what I would have in there would be my mobile phone would fit perfectly in there but I film on my phone so yeah but I would have my phone in the back there and then in this zip here and they're double zips so you know they zip both ways so in this pocket here I have got a hairbrush, <laughs> a little mini hairbrush in that pocket there. I've also got my sunglasses and they're actually in the case and that's quite a chunky case and that fits in there perfectly. And also inside here, there's like this little clip that you can also attach car keys or house keys onto so you you know you've only got to pull that out so that's inside there as well and you can see how roomy that is inside there and then there's also another zip inside there i haven't got anything in there at the moment but you could fit anything in there like little bits and pieces like lip gloss or you know lip balm or anything like that you could fit in there and then on this side, there's more pockets. There's actually one, two, three pockets. So you've got like two smaller ones and then this bigger one. And in that bigger one there, I've got some paracetamol and some chewing gums in that little pocket there. And as I say, you could get more stuff in, I don't know, all kinds of little bits and pieces that you could pop in there like you know I don't know um bits of jewelry you know spare jewelry if you're using it like as um a, a carry-on on the airplane which would be really good as a little carry-on because you can get so much in and it's very compact so you could have your little bits of jewelry in there and stuff like that coins yeah you could put anything in there so that's what I've got in that side and I could still fit more in I really could. I could probably even fit um, a bottle of perfume in there as well as what I've already got in. And then on this side, I have got my pouch <laughs> that goes everywhere with me because it's got my fags in. It's as old as the hills. A friend bought me this from India. It's got an elephant on and it's so old. But yeah, I keep my fags in there and in that little zip I also keep a pair of tweezers. And then inside here, that's where I've got I had my um pouch that I just showed you. There's another pocket and there's also these little rings to hold a pen. So I've got a pen in there as well. And in the little pocket I have got my card holder that I keep my uh, credit cards and debit card in and also my driving license and my store cards you know my um my boots card my super drug card and my club card so I always keep those three together and my driving license in the one side and I keep my credit card and debit card in that side as well so I've got that in there as well and again I've still got room to put more stuff in like you know I could I could fit an extra packet of tobacco in there <laughs> and the tips and all sorts of bits and pieces um lighter and stuff like that I could fit extra in there so it is a really really roomy little bag and it is very, very cute. I do like it very much. And I am so impressed with how much stuff you can actually fit in. And like I say, I've got quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, I would normally have like a lip balm in there, which I forgot to put in because of swapping over. But yeah, it is really, really sweet. 
and I do like it. However, you guys know that I have got so many bags. I have got a problem with bags. So what I would like to do is gift this to one of you guys. So I'm going to be putting it into a little giveaway because I do love to give back. You know this and these companies, they offer me lovely stuff and I do love working with um, brands and having nice things. But I also like sharing with you guys as well. And I have got plenty of bags. So, yeah, I'm going to be giving this to one of you guys. So... If you would like to have a go at the giveaway, please leave a comment down below and at the end of your comment, put hashtag uh, bag, hashtag bag, okay? And um, I'll do the draw in about a week or so's time and I'll get this sent out to one of you lovely lot out there. And it's just a way of me saying thank you for all the love and support that you always show towards me. I do love to give, I am that kind of person. So when, you know, these companies offer me nice stuff, I don't always say yes because, you know, it's not always quality, but when it's quality, I will say yes. And if it's something I think that I'm not gonna get the use out of i'd rather one of you guys have the pleasure and the use out of it so that's what i'm going to do this time so yeah just comment down the bottom if you would like me to enter you into the draw hashtag bag and yeah i'll get it sent out to you when i do the um draw and yeah it'll come in the bag in the box with the dust bag and everything as well so that is the end of today's video my darlings i hope you've enjoyed it um thank you so much to Manoy for Susie at Manoy for um reaching out to me and collaborating with me and sending me this beautiful bag they are incredible and um, they've got big ones small ones they've got um purses and stuff so there's an array of stuff on the on the website for you to have a look at if you're interested and i'll leave all the details in the description down below so again thank you manoy for sponsoring this video today so i am going to go and i've got some more content to film <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do um that's what I'm doing with my day. I'm spending because the weather's not good. I can't get out in the in the garden, which is what we are waiting to do, because we um, Les has ordered all the stuff to do the patio at the back of the gar at the back of the house. Um, so we're waiting to get out there so we can get cracking and get the patio sorted, ready for the summer barbecues. And we're having an outside kitchen built in there. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing it. And I will film everything and take you along on that journey with us. So yeah, that's more content coming. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> it's because I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> Feels like that anyway. I'm going to go and I will see you all really, really soon. Thank you for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me. If you do like my content, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already, of course. And I will see you all in the next one, which is going to be a turkey haul. Love you guys loads. Bye.